Good morning, everyone. My name is Tony Hollowitz, and I want to thank you for listening to this quick podcast about Axe Software, Axe CRM. I can't tell you how often I speak to people and they say to me, hey, I don't want to pay for ACT as a yearly subscription. Now, ACT has a curse. ACT has been around for more than 25 years. It started out as desktop software in which you could download the software, put it on your computer. In fact, back many years ago, you could take one copy of ACT and put it on multiple computers. That wasn't unusual. People did that all the time. But that changed. Now it's limited to the number of computers you can put it on, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Having said that, you could also buy a copy and own it for years and years and years and never update it, never replace it. So now when people are faced with a situation where they might have to upgrade their Act software, the idea of a subscription just rubs them the wrong way. They can't stand the thought of having to buy Act software every single year as a subscription. Now, a lot of software is going as a subscription, so this is not a big deal in our industry. But let's just take a look at this real quick. Think about it from the company's point of view. ACT has changed. Back in the day, many years ago, you put ACT on a computer, and that's really all you had to worry about. Today, you have to put ACT on multiple devices. You can put it on your desktop computer. You can view it in the cloud. You can view it in both the cloud and on your desktop. You can see information about your ACT data on an iPad, an iPhone, or any smart devices. So ACT has evolved. ACT has changed. There's different technology behind the scenes that requires that ACT constantly be updated. In the past, when you bought software, it was, for the most part, always installed on your computer. Today, when you're looking for software that's comparable to ACT, CRM software, the vast majority of it is web-based, purely web-based. You have no options but to get that software in the web or in a web browser. ACT gives you the option of the web, gives you the option of the desktop or a combination of both. In addition to that, ACT has to constantly be updating. They're not a huge company. They are evolving. They've got to support their employees. They've got to support the technology. So when you subscribe to ACT, you're really supporting the ACT community. But let's set all that aside for a minute. A subscription of ACT software is somewhere between $360 and $450, depending on how you get involved in it. Having stated that, when you buy ACT software, what do you get? What do you get for your subscription? Well, you can get it just in the cloud. That's one option. You can get it on your desktop. That's another option. But what you get with it, regardless of which direction you go, is you get 2,500 monthly ACT marketing automation emails. Now, I can't tell you how many people say to me, I, I, I don't use email. I would never use that. And that always baffles me. And I'm going to come back to that in just a second. In addition to that, you get an, a mobile app for all your devices. You can put it on one device or multiple devices called ACT Companion. That's also included in your subscription. You also have updates and upgrades. So as the software evolves during the course of your subscription, you get the most recent version. You don't always have to upgrade, but that's an option that you have available to you. So those are some of the things. In addition, ACT is evolving to work with other software through API connections. So what I'm saying is ACT is a moving target. It's not something that stayed the same. It's something that's changing, evolving, and something that, frankly, with your subscription, you're supporting the community, the staff, the company, so they have the resources to keep expanding ACT. Now, I can appreciate if you don't want to do that, and I said I was going to come back to the ACT marketing automation, but to me, this is a really very simple equation. Can you justify the cost of spending money on a yearly ACT subscription? Well, this is the thing. For those of you that use email marketing, things like a MailChimp or Constant Contact, that's built right into ACT. All the information of those emails you send out, all the data comes back into ACT. So you can do a lookup of all the people whose email bounced. You can do a lookup of all the people that opened your email. You can do a lookup of all the people that have opted out. That's good data. That's good intelligence. But when you send that first email out from ACT, what it's doing, it's validating your data. It's giving you insights and information about your data. 
it's telling you and reminding you the value of your data. If you don't think ACT is worth the value, try living without it for a week. If anything, it's so inexpensive for what it can do for you. Really think about some of the things you can do with it. And if you're really set on saying, well, I'm never going to use ACT Marketing Automation, I'm going to challenge you to this. Once a quarter, just once a quarter, send an email out to all your prospects and your customers or clients and ask them one simple question. Can I help you with anything? That's it. Very simple. You can send out a simple text email. It's very easy to set up. I can help you with that. Send out an email saying, can I help you with anything? Question mark. That's it. I hate to tell you this, but you might get some business out of it. Worst case scenario, your customers know you exist. They know you're still around. Because you know what? I know you have contacts in your ACT database that they think you've forgotten about them. Send an email out once a quarter. Try it. That business you get from that email, that quarterly email, will easily pay for ACT. So my friends, look at ACT a little bit differently. Another way that I suggest people look at it is this way. If I came to you and said, hey, for $30 a month, approximately, you can send out 2,500 emails. I think a lot of you would find that to be a good value. But what if I said for, 20, for 2,500 emails, $30 a month, in addition to that, I'm going to give you ACT for free. Flip it around. Think of it that way. And then all of a sudden, ACT isn't such a bad value. I believe that it's a tool. If you use this tool and do productive things with it, ACT can be phenomenal. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tony Hollowitz. Thank you so very much for your time. You have a great day. Be well. Bye now.